Hi everyone, it's Taylor here, and today we're going to be creating this beautiful home decor project along with a coordinating card. We'll be using our 100% wool felt along with several flower dies to create these beautiful 3D flowers. I have the roll with it one, two, and three dies. You cut these out of the 100% wool felt and roll them together to create the 3D flowers. For the leaves, I'll be using our mosaic beech leaf, the solid leaves, and I will cut them off of the stem and show you how to make them into a pretty 3D leaf. I have four different wool felt colors. I have persimmon, creamsicle, peacock, and split pea for this project, but we have tons of colors on the Tailored Expressions website that you can coordinate to your personal preference. I'll be using the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue to glue the flowers together. And then for the card, we'll be using the Hold My Blooms stamp set. It features two different sizes of the stems for the blooms, and we'll be using the larger of the two. Then for my sentiment on the card, I have our mini strips floral and the coordinating mini strips die to cut out those 10 different sentiments all in one pass through the die cut machine. I'll be cutting my panel with the third largest piece from our A2 Stacklets set. For the home decor project, I will be using one of our panels from the Create a Keepsake set of pre-printed panels. These are toner printed, so they can be foiled. And you can see there are six different options in the set, and you get two of each of those pre-printed cards. The foil that I'll be using to foil that is Champagne Deco Foil. For my stamping, I have three different mini ink cubes I'll be using, Peapod, Cilantro, and Poblano Pepper. I'll be embossing with my Versamark powder tool and white embossing powder, embellishing with our bits and pieces drip drops, and I have my foam sticky strips and my just press tool. So let's get started. You can see I have the four Roll With It flower dies here. I'll be using three of them in the video. I'll be using the larger stamp from the Hold My Blooms stamp set along with various colors of felt. The lighter blue has been discontinued, but the peacock that I used in my final photos looks great as well. I'll be using Peapod ink to ink this stamp and stamp it onto toffee cardstock. Once I've used Peapod, I'm coming in with a darker cilantro color and just accenting the base of the leaves and some of the stems. Then I stamp that color down and add a little bit of the poblano pepper over the top. And then I come back with a final round of pea pod all over, and that gives me a little bit of a variegated green look on that stamped bloom image. Now I'm going to cut all of the Roll With It flowers. First I have the Roll With It Flower 2 from that light blue felt, and then I have Roll With It Flower 1 from the persimmon felt, and Roll With It Flower 3 from the creamsicle felt. These dies cut beautifully through our 100% wool felt, and when it's time to adhere them together, you can use hot glue, but I prefer the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. It grabs really quickly, so as you're wrapping that bloom around, you can easily get the glue to adhere, and you don't have to worry about burning your fingers. So you can see I just pinch it in the center, add a small drop of glue, and wrap it really tightly around, keeping the bottom of that die cut straight along the edge. Then when you reach the end, you can see there's a tab that's built into the die cut, so you can add your adhesive and place that tab underneath, holding the entire bloom together. Now when you get to this Roll With It Flower 3, I like to start in the center, wrapping this from the center towards the outside, and then just placing a little bit of that glue on that flap that's left over and adhering that together. Next, I'm going to die cut the stamped blooms using the third largest die in our A2 Stacklets set. I've arranged the different 3D blooms on that piece and I'm gluing them down with the Fast Grab Tacky Glue. You might be wondering how I plan to mail this card, and the answer is, I probably won't. This is a great design to use if you plan to hand deliver your card or if you're mailing a box to someone with a card in it, but it is just too thick to get it in an envelope and mail it. We're going to finish off the card by stamping our mini strips floral. I'll be embossing these with white embossing powder, so I've stamped with Versamark ink, and then I'll pour the white embossing powder over the top and then heat that. Before I heat, I'm cleaning up with my Marilyn Monroe bot. She helps me when I get little bits of embossing powder on my table. I really don't like that gritty texture from leftover embossing powder, so I use my desktop vacuum a lot. 
I decided on using the Love You Bunches sentiment. So I'm placing one of our sticky strips on the back and then I place that down on the stems of the flowers. I'll be using my Nuvo liquid adhesive on the back to adhere this down to a sugar cube card base. Now that that's finished, I want to start on making my home decor project. I've chosen one of the sentiments from our Create a Keepsake. I'll be using, it takes hands to build a house, but only hearts can build a home. I found the perfect frame at the dollar store. It is a house shape and I want my little piece to fit exactly within that house opening. So I'm just marking the edges lightly with a pencil and cutting off the top so that it creates a V and will fit in the peak of the house. So you can see that fits just perfectly in there and we can foil it with our champagne deco foil. I'm using a heat setting of four along with my mink transfer sheet and a piece of cardstock inside of the transfer sheet so that it gives it a little bit of extra stability. I'm going to adhere that to the frame using my one by three foam strips and having an equal amount of black around the top and the sides, and then my flowers will sit towards the bottom. I've arranged the flowers about how I like them, and then I'm cutting some of those leaves and placing them into the bouquet. You can see if you want the leaf to be 3D, you can place a little drop of glue and pinch that leaf together so that it has a little bit more dimension to it. You'll need to sit and pinch it for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute before it actually stays that way. So now you can see how I've glued all of those towards the bottom of my frame along with the leaves. I'm adding some drip drops as a final embellishment and my cute frame gift will be finished. You could give it with the coordinating card or on its own. Hopefully you've learned something new today and I can't wait to see what you create with the Roll With It flowers. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions website at tailoredexpressions.com.